Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. It is with regret that I rise today to advise the House of the passing of Gunnar Jack Mulholland, who sadly passed away over the weekend aged 92. Jack was one of the last surviving Darwin defenders. He manned an anti-aircraft gun during the bombing of Darwin, February 19, 1942. I'm pleased that the parliament, at my request, uh, through a private member's motion, acknowledged the bombing of Darwin as a day of significance. I'm pleased that Jack was able to participate in the 70th anniversary of the bombing of Darwin commemorations earlier this year. It's astounding that 70 years on and only now Australians are learning about the bombing of Darwin. It truly amazes me that how many people are not aware of what, what occurred back in 1942, as it was certainly never was taught in schools. It's only through the people like Jack that the story of the bombing of Darwin was shared. And in fact, it was while Jack was sharing one of these stories that I first met him uh, at the Darwin Military Museum, a place very dear to him, something else that Jack fought for. From all accounts, Jack was, at one, was one of the key people in ensuring that the Darwin Military Museum remained at its current <coughs> location despite the Northern Territory government wanting to relocate the museum in town. Rest in peace, Jack. You will never be forgotten. Thank you on behalf of a grateful nation for your <coughs> efforts in protecting Australia. <coughs>